how to spot where institutions buy stock using the Wyckoff methodology is going to be the topic of this short video. So I've got Gildan Activeware loaded up on the chart here that you can see. So what we're going to focus on and hopefully you can go away and apply this to price structures you're looking at as well is just understanding where institutions are buying, kind of following their footstep. And that will also help you determine whether you're looking at a potential accumulation or reaccumulation trading range as opposed to a distribution, depending on where you see that buying and also where you see that selling. So let's just jump straight into it here. So Gildan accumulation structure, we've got phase A, phase B, phase C, phase D. So you can see that we've worked our way through the structures and we've got this yellow channel here that I've labeled institutional value zone. And you can see I've put yellow boxes around kind of this, some of the significant points um, that coincide with the labeling on the chart. So I, with the selling climax here, we've got significant volume here with demand tails and the price rapidly going up. So we know institutions see value here. In phase B, we get the secondary test here and we can see as we come into this institutional value zone again, what happens to the volume, the volume signature increases. We can see demand tails on each of these candle bars, which are one week in duration, each of them weekly chart here and the price goes up. So we know institutions were buying here. And again, again, not a girl, again, as we come down for phase C and we get the LPS here, you can see again an increasing volume signature price. This goes up about 25%, something like that, uh, within the week, probably might be in earnings related. Uh, so again, we've got institutions coming in here whilst we're in the value zone. And yes, there's a lot of supply on this red candle bar here, but there's also a lot of demand going in there as well. And what I particularly like when we move into phase D is you can see where this blue arrow is pointing to this candle bar here. You can see the demand tail, demand tail, demand tail coming down, proper English, Jack. Demand tail coming down. So what does that tell us on also increasing volume signature? What does that tell us that supply was coming to the market and pushing the price down, but demand, and we know it was institutional due, due to the size of the volume, stepped in and were buying the share. So just kind of piecing it together as well. And if we also just look at the kind of intervening high points within this trading range, the AR here on less volume than we've seen previously. Again, the ST is on less volume. So this is also telling us at the top of the trading range, there's not that much supply coming to the market. Institutions aren't selling there because we don't see that level of vol volume signatures we see within these yellow boxes. At the upfrost action as well, okay, pretty weak volume there relatively speaking compared to the other boxes and as we come to the top of the trading range this time we can obviously see the uh, uh, volume coming in here supporting the breakout the demand coming in sign of strength again not much selling on the backing up action and away we go as we take out the high of the sign of strength so what i just want you to do is when you're labeling trading zones i want you to think about where are institutions buying or selling see if you can see both obviously if this was a distribution structure we'd expect to uh, see the institutional sell zone and we could put a channel up at the top of this trading range here because we'd see increasing volume signature at the top of the pardon me at the top of the trading range as opposed to the bottom of the trading range which is much more common when it's a accumulation or reaccumulation structure. So hopefully you found that useful. Comment down below if you've got any questions and queries about trying to find the institutional value zone and any charts you want me to look at. And as always, please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button and like the video.